All right, guys. Uh, I had a few people ask about this um, TGA to a PAA conversion bat file that um, I did not make. Actually, Snake Man, I believe, is the original creator of it. The only thing I did was just add the uh, extra lines and to allow for uh, if you want to export or convert your um, SAT normal map. Um, so you know, once you were to uh, generate the layers, it cuts them all up and you know depending on where you put them it'll put them in your layers folder like this now the, T the PAA fo uh, files are in there already because it's, it's already been converted but normally you'd end up with the, these, uh, the PNG um, files and before you can run Bulldozer it has to be converted to PAA so in order to do that this c you, could, you could let uh, Terrain Builder do it for you but it does it one line at a time. It takes forever. So what you can do here, you need PAL to paste exe. You need the um, the DL that goes with that, as long as well as this convert PAA bat file that we created. Um, and you drop it into the uh, folder before your layers. So here's the layers here. You would drop it into this folder here, whatever's the previous folder before that. Uh, show you what's in the file and then how to edit it so that it matches you know, suits your terrain um, if you're not using the normal textures you can just delete them and, or I think you can actually leave it, it really it, it, if it doesn't find it it just won't do it but um, so you go to your layers folder go to the very bottom once it's done exporting and you'll see your last PNG file S underscore zero in my case it's a six three but we're really just worried about the zero six you notice in here the last line is S underscore zero six now if it was if it was more than that you could add another line like this you now just change you can just change it, you know, this. And if it was seven or eight, depending on however, if you needed to add more lines, you know, it's not that complicated. You just add a couple more lines. Um, you know, then you just close it, save it, whatever. And then you just run it. And it'll run through and convert all your textures. And it runs multiple instances at once. And I'm telling you, it really cuts down on the time. I mean, it can take a 30-minute conversion down to, like, five. It's crazy. So, I mean, I recommend doing it this way just because it's way faster. <laughs> it saves you a lot less time sitting around. But, anyway, that's how that's how you do it. Uh, I believe the, the, I believe the powder-paste thing you get from um, the A3 tools... If not, you get it from A3 tools. It may even, and 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 the uh, conversion, bat this bat file I believe is on uh, Micro's website, and it's also in my Dropbox. I'll I'll put a link to the Dropbox file.